Well, what I can tell you about the trumpet is, uh, is a lot of things. Um, originally, when the instrument was first manufactured, they didn't have valves in it. So everything was done with uh, what's called your embouchure, which is a circular muscle around the lips. And it's what allows you to control the pitch and the intonation and uh, a lot of how you're pronouncing, pronunciating the notes. Um, the, the valves were added later on, giving it um, the ability to hit the notes with more accuracy. Um, the trumpet plays in B flat is the, is the key that it, that it plays in. Uh, the, the trumpet belongs to the brass family, and even though they're mostly made out of brass, sometimes nickel-plated like this trumpet is, uh, it is part of the brass, fam bra brass woodwind family. Trumpets have been used in many different ways throughout history. Uh, one of the biggest ways, I would say for sure, is fanfare. They're a loud, bright instrument, so a lot of times uh, royalty would have them as kind of an announcement. Uh, I know that the military uses them for uh, different things like wake-up calls or some kind of an announcement across a field because it, it projects really well. So you're able to get a lot of noise out of a small little instrument. What's interesting about modern day trumpets versus the old style bugles is because of the lack of valves, it was all in the control of the embouchure. Uh, the, Typical method that's taught today on how to play the instrument in you, involves buzzing your lips and using the embouchure muscle to control the tone. Back when there were no valves, it was all, it was controlled through the embouchure, but also controlled through the way your tongue was pressed against your teeth. So it's an alternate method that you can kind of, you kind of have to learn. It's really hard to, to show because it's very in your mouth. Um, but is a difference of like thinking about, uh, spitting it if you have a hair on your tongue and how you're trying to get it off. It's that kind of idea, but adding to a buzz to it. So it gets a And that's kind of the old style method. So that's how you can kind of get a lot of control without having to use valves or without being able to go really fast or sustain a long time or have a longer, longer uh, set of chops. And you know, because when, you're, when your embouchure wears out, gets tired, it's very hard to control the instrument. So it allows you to have a longer embouchure length.